Guys, welcome to StreamYard. This is the video where we are going to walk through how to do a broadcast from your computer to your Facebook group, to YouTube, LinkedIn, a variety of different places where you can not only broadcast yourself, but you can share your screen, you can conduct interviews with other people. It is such an amazing tool. Now, StreamYard, uh, we've provided the link in the training here, and I want to tell you there's a free version and a paid version. Let's see if they have, here's their pricing. So the free version allows for participants, screen sharing, banners, all kinds of things. When you have the paid for version, you get all of the free things, plus it removes the StreamYard branding. Uh, which is a default that shows up automatically in the free version. But if you don't want the StreamYard branding, and I'll show you what that looks like, um, then you can pay for the version. Now, the annual price brings it down to $20 a month, but it's billed annually. If you want the monthly rate, switch this to monthly, and it'll show you it's $25 a month. Um, the paid-for version also allows for a logo, overlays, uh, backgrounds, and, of course, you can... Uh, have a little bit more robust in terms of multi-streaming. So the nice thing about multi-streaming would mean you can broadcast in two places simultaneously. For example, you could broadcast uh, on YouTube and on Facebook at the same time or on a Facebook page and a Facebook group at the same time. And the professional version allows for five destinations. So I'll walk you through and show you a couple of the differences here between the two versus the free version versus the uh, paid for version. And also keep in mind your streaming limits, uh, 20 hours per month on the free plan. So if you're planning to do a lot more streaming than that, then you'll definitely want to go for the paid for version. So let's get started. You'll create your account and log into StreamYard. Once you've logged into StreamYard, the screen that you come to has a broadcast area and a destinations area. Before you can begin your broadcast, you first have to connect StreamYard to the destination. So in this case, if I click on destinations, you'll see all the different places our StreamYard account is connected to and you simply add a destination. When you add the destination, you'll have the option of a variety of places on Facebook, LinkedIn, a YouTube channel, Periscope, Twitch, and then your custom R RTMP. So if I were to select, for example, Facebook group, I will be prompted to make a setting adjustment in my group. Let me just jump over to Facebook and show you where that setting takes place. Here in my Facebook group, if I click on the three dots here under the banner that say more, and I go to edit group settings, when I scroll down, you'll find this section that says apps. You're going to want to be sure to add the StreamYard app, and you simply do that by clicking add apps, and you'll type in, it does take a, a few seconds, maybe a minute or two sometimes, for all of the apps to come up. But just be patient and then type in StreamYard, you'll find this app and just click to add. It's very simple. Once you have the connection set up, it will show up in your destinations. Now you're ready for a broadcast. So let's click on broadcast and create a broadcast. It's pretty intuitive. It asks, where would you like to broadcast to? So find the location that you're wanting this broadcast to land. And now you'll give it a title and a description. If you think about when you're creating a post on Facebook, there is always a caption that goes with a picture or a caption that would go with a video. This is your caption. So give it a title, second test. And I'm going to give this a very brief description. There's a checkbox here that comes up as a default. I would encourage you to leave this checked. And this simply adds some default text underneath what you've already written in the description, which would tell your viewers what to click to, access, to, to give uh, StreamYard permission to, to display their name in the comments. I'll explain what that means in just a second. And I'll show you why this is important that you leave this checked. You can go ahead and create your broadcast and get started if, if this is the time that you're ready for that. But I would also encourage you to be planning your broadcasts ahead and schedule them. And when you do that, you will see that your viewers will have an opportunity to get a reminder of the broadcast coming up. Let me show you how that looks. So if I say schedule for later, 
I'm going to add an image. So you'll have a graphic that you've created telling them about the broadcast that's coming up. And I'll just use this picture of Becca and I. And I'm going to say I want this scheduled for the future, 850, sure. And I'll create the broadcast. Let's jump back over to, to Facebook. Let me refresh my screen. And here in the group, look, now I have the post that's been made that says there's a new video coming, a new stream coming. Remember I said leave that checkbox checked? Here's what it says. This is the default text that StreamYard inserts when you leave it checked. It says before leaving a comment, please grant StreamYard permission to see your name. And they would click this particular um, link. So the broadcast isn't taking place currently, it's just it's scheduled for the future, but your viewers can look at this and say, hey, I want to be a part of that, so I want to get a reminder when it happens. And then they'll get a notification that the broadcast is about to take place. So that is the beauty of scheduling things, whether it's to a page or your profile or wherever, this can happen. So now when you're ready, you'll log back into StreamYard when it's time for your broadcast. You'll go to your broadcast, you'll see that you have this one scheduled, and you'll just enter the broadcast studio. When you access the studio, hi everyone, it uh, fires up your camera and your microphone. You wanna make sure all of that is working, and you'll have your name here, and you'll say, yes, I wanna enter the studio. Now, just because we're in the studio, we're not live yet. When you're ready to go live, right up here in the top right where it says go live in that blue button, once you click that, then it will be streaming into your destination. Right now, we're still in the setup stage, okay? So it'll show you that I'm down here, and if I this everything in this pink box right here, this is what would be streaming. So I'm not yet in the stream. I'm kind of in this uh, batter's box, so to speak. I click add to stream, there I am. Now I am I would be in the stream once I clicked go live. Until I click go live, I'm not actually live. If you have guests that you're wanting to invite, you can click this person with the plus next to it and say invite, copy this link and send it to them. You can pay, copy and paste it into a Facebook messenger. You can email it to them, you can Gmail. So send them that link. They just need to click on that link. They don't have to download anything and they can be a part of the stream. They will show up right down here in this little area next to me uh, or next to you in that case. And you will again have to add them to the stream, stream. And when you do that, you'll be side by side. Okay. Now, if you want to mute yourself, this is your control panel down here to do that. If you want to stop your camera, if you need to make any settings adjustments, which I don't anticipate you would, but you could, there's your gear for your camera and microphone settings. When you're wanting to share your screen, so let's say you're doing a, um, a presentation and you're trying to walk somebody through how to do something on a website, as an example. If I click share screen, I give it permission, and then I go to my tab, of the screen that I want to share. If I wanted to share my test group, let's say I'm trying to give somebody some information about Facebook and I say share, this is what they're going to see. How do I know that? Because when I jump back over to StreamYard, this is what they're now seeing. I'm over here on the left and my screen is here. If I want to remove myself and make the screen larger, I can just click this little icon and now it's just showing my screen. And you can see it's down here in the little batter's box, the loading dock that we're both in here. If I want to stop screen sharing, I can just remove that and remove this, the screen sharing. Okay, that's how you share your screen. Over on the right-hand side, this is your comment box. Now, remember when we said, let's jump back over here to Facebook again. You see where it says, before leaving a comment, please grant StreamYard permission to see your name. This is what it's talking about. So that when I am looking at this as the um, person running the StreamYard, right? If someone has not given StreamYard permission to show their name, all it's going to show me is Facebook user says blah, blah, blah. I won't know who that Facebook user is. But if they've clicked that link and given permission, then it would say their name, Sally Smith says, blah, 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 so that I can directly speak to, oh, Sally, I see you have a question, you asked, such and such and such. So it's always worth reminding people, leaving that check mark there when you're setting everything up, having that default verbiage there, and then reminding people early on in the broadcast, hey, if you guys see uh, this verbiage above this 
video that's broadcasting that um, asks you to give StreamYard permission to share your name, go ahead and click that link so that I can see on my end when someone is asking questions, I know exactly who it is that's asking so I can answer. Now, what happens if they don't click the link? Is it that big of a deal? No. During the live broadcast, you won't know who it is that's asking the questions, but once the broadcast is finished and it's posted on Facebook, when you're on Facebook, you can see everyone's name and comments. So it's just a nice feature um, to have and a, a nice way for you to be personally addressing people during your broadcast when they've given that kind of permission. The next uh, icon down says banners. And these little banners um, are the banners that would come up that you can show, you can turn on and turn off, all right? So if I go down here and I want to show, you know, maybe I'm showing some product and I want to show here's what the special is, here is my website, uh, that could be something I could have up the whole time that I'm talking. So if someone jumps on late, um, they haven't missed that part of it, right? They might like what I'm saying, but they don't have to wait around for me to say, oh, and go to this website or here's the special. You can always have that. So you can type up a, uh, create a banner and then just have it show or you can hide it all throughout the broadcast, okay? For branding down here, now on the free version, you're not gonna have some of this, uh, some of these features available to you, okay? Your uh, logo, for example, this is always gonna be there. You don't have the opportunity to turn this off in the free version. This will be there. That is the StreamYard logo. If you would like to replace that with your own logo, you can in the paid for version. Okay, so your $25 a month allows you to have a logo on there. You also have this overlay. And you may not like the overlay. So if you don't want the overlay and you want something else as your overlay, you can upload an overlay or you can remove that. Back to branding, if you have uh, identified your brand colors, you can include a brand color here. You saw before it was black, now it is a branded color. So this guys is StreamYard. You can see how it is a fun, easy tool to showcase a product. You can showcase interviews uh, of customers, uh, expert testimonials, do side-by-side -side interviews. And then you can also um, share your, web, your screen if you're doing any trainings and tutorials. So give it a try, see what you think, and good luck. Mm -hmm.